Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be all about layering, how to look really cute when you do it, and basically how to just switch up your layering styles to have some more fun and fresh outfits. So first item of business, we got monochromatic layering. So it's exactly what it sounds like, literally just taking a collared shirt and then pairing it underneath a similar colored sweater. So for this one, I took this light pink collared shirt and then I paired it right underneath a darker pink sweater and it gives this really fun two-toned colored effect and this is super versatile you can switch up the colors have fun with it and then to tie it all together i added some pink converse as well with my wide leg light wash denim jeans so our second fit i'm calling it the tennis player chic if you've been on pinterest at least the side of pinterest that i'm on this outfit is completely inspired by my pinterest board and i've literally seen so many outfits that are really simple yet they like look so cool but what it is is you take a simple dainty sweater and then you wrap it around your neck and you can just like tie it or you can do it around like crossbody around your waist and the key to recreating this outfit and making it look good is making sure your sweater isn't too thick because if it is then it'll lie really weird and it'll look really bulky so just finding a thin dainty sweater and then tying it i took a white fitted tee and then i paired those with the same light wash jeans i was wearing in the last outfit and then i draped this clueless inspired green plaid button sweater on this would also look so cute with some layered jewelry and some earrings so i love 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 this outfit so i'm gonna give you the 411 the best all-time fall movie is literally dead poet society this movie is immaculate. I don't know how to describe it. It's just amazing. So I had to create an outfit that was inspired by that movie. So if you have seen Dead Poet Society, then you'll agree with me that then this outfit was definitely inspired by the school boys uniforms. So I used to wear cardigans literally all the time growing up and I continue to do so. I just feel like they're pretty underrated. I feel like cardigans can be styled super cute. It's literally like wearing a big blanket. Plus it also adds more texture and dimension into your outfit. So I paired these super form-fitting tan Levi slacks with a thrifted t-shirt that was tucked in. And then to complete the look, I layered my navy cardigan on top. Um, you can get fun with it, have pattern cardigans, cable knit, chunky, whatever you're feeling like. Outfit number four, we got Sunday brunch. This is what I would wear if I was going to Sunday brunch. Have I been invited to a Sunday brunch? I can also neither confirm or deny that. Okay, so not only is this layering tactic so cute, but it's perfect for modifying clothes to be more modest for uniforms, church, or just like your personal preference. Plus it look, just looks cool. So I paired the spaghetti strap mini floral dress with this classic white button up shirt. And this is actually from Walmart. Uh, I got a size extra large in my button up shirt just to get an oversized effect and then to also contrast like the super fitted dress. I love how this combo looks. I paired my dress with some Converse and I thought I looked very good. So I took Instagram photos, which I'll insert right here. Follow me on Instagram at Marla Catherine. I'm so good at promo. Number five, we got the librarian's assistant inspired outfit. You know, I think we all at one point in our lives wanted to look like a librarian's assistant. They're vital to society. They're going extinct at a rapid rate. So here you go. Once again, I'm taking that white oversized button up shirt and then I'm pairing it this time under this sleeveless V-neck sweater vest. Sweater vests kind of give me like hip vibes when pulling dynamite, but like in the best way possible. So we're working with what we have. I love the color scheme of this outfit. It's very neutral and it's almost mature looking. So, but do you think I look too sophisticated? To go along with like this oversized look, I added these very wide straight leg acid wash denim jeans. And I think they're from American Eagle, but to complete the outfit, I then added these pink Converse again to give a pop of color. And overall, I just think sweater vests are the perfect way to begin layering because almost anything looks good underneath. You could like pair it with an oversized t-shirt, turtlenecks, and then button ups, they all look great. So bada bing, finish the sentence, bada boom. And that completes today's layering 101 video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, got some inspo. And if you want, you can go ahead and follow me at Marla Catherine on Instagram because I post a lot of fashion related photos on there. So if you want more outfit pics, you want to just see pics of me, pics of my toes sometimes for free then. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. <sighs> layering 101. It's a serious thing. Layering 101. So number one, we have Monica McGranat out later. Uh, number four, Sunday brunch. <laughs> I'm getting sweaty, so now it's not a feeling. Listen to this. FMR. <laughs> hey guys, so today's video was all gonna be a blah. It would I forget your day. This is the Halloween edition. <laughs> okay guys, so today's video is gonna be all about layering. Layering one one. I gotta restart from the top. Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be all about Larry. Uh, one one. I'm sorry. Literally, like, we could be done already. Why? That would be fun. Okay, <laughs> start from the top. Make it. No, I don't sing that song. Hello, Earthlings. Okay, like dead serious. Hey.
hi no they're so awkward all of those hey guys so today's video is gonna be all about layering i don't really know what i'm talking about but i'm winging it <laughs> okay biscuit breasts our last one last outfit don't be offended i call you a biscuit yeah no no toga. but no 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 it's no habla evelyn dad yeah i'm bilingual i'm asking why but i care <laughs> okay guys so number five last one you made it to the end Great job. Do you want a medal? That was kind of passive aggressive. I'm no, so sorry. That was. Uh, 